Lee, what if I told you I had a movie that was one third worse than Dracula 3000? Ah, I barely registered on the movie meter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, guys, here we're going to talk about the movie Dracula 2000. The year 2000's Dracula 2000. Lee, had you seen it before? Of course. I was watching movies in the year 2000. It's Indeed. a prime time for me watching movies. So Dracula 2000 is like a who's who of fucking people in insane, this movie. Insane, right? It, it's actually insane, the level of, of, of like, you know, micro stars, major yeah. stars, and, and where it caught people in their time period. No, everybody like, becomes famous. It's like uh, urban legend tier of like, everyone's in this movie, there's a million people, and they're all people who are like, I know that guy, I know that guy, I know that guy. And some were not even famous yet, so it's weird that they got them all in the same yeah, movie, Yeah, right? I think Danny Masterson is more famous than Gerard Butler in this. Because right? <laughs> Gerard Butler is, is arguably like the main character character of the movie yes. he plays dracula he's not on the cover title of like with his name that i think me, that's i was like wait yeah exactly and even in this like i think 300 burned you know that image of dry uh -huh. you know, into my head but i had slowly gotten used to the fact that like no he's not that guy he's the uh uh you know uh, uh ch you know machine gun preacher guy he's just like a normal random dude that sucks and everything because okay. usually i'd be like who is that sam worthington is that jai courtney <laughs> who the fuck is this guy that's javar butler no is that dry butler is like spot and all that stuff. He's that type of guy. Yeah. This is a third Gerard Butler where he's got long hair and, and like like still knowing that it's him throughout the movie. I'm like, that doesn't look like him at all. It doesn't sound like him. It's crazy. I knew uh, Gerard Butler was not a blip on my radar when I first saw this. Absolutely. And I don't know when the last time I saw this again was. I think I, I've like Googled to watch certain clips of it, uh, oh. but I haven't watched the full movie in quite a while. So I remember being like, ah, oh, Gerard Butler. And I was like, who the fuck does he play in Who's that? Who's he? He must be one of those <laughs> guys Dracula. who dies in the beginning or something. My God. My boy Lachlan Moreau. <laughs> you, you got a baby dick too <laughs> that guy is in this barely yeah. for a minute it's amazing yeah he's I like, like one of I the like, lowest I like things him. I, exactly exactly mm -hmm. you know a modern remake of dracula you know just dracula but in the year 2000 the story we know and love right? yeah but this spawned a couple modernized. of sequels direct to video with uh, the dude from like the jungle book <laughs> i i want to see those now but i'm afraid that like it doesn't carry this story they forward. i did not actually know they were related at all to this until okay. i was like i was like oh the director did this then that then this. oh okay so it goes okay. 2000 dracula 2 dracula Dracula 3. Okay. We'll get into it, but yeah, like had they continued this story, it would have been exactly the type of shit that I like a lot, but it seems like they may have be did not, so whatever. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> But this I thought was fun. Obviously, it's a fun it sounds movie, like you're yeah. saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. So we'll get into all the gory details and stuff. Indeed. So if you've seen this or don't care, fall over to spoilers. And if not, you know, pull out now. If you need a place to rent content, you better listen. We're cannibal video and we eat the competition. So here we are for the spoilers of Dracula 2000. So Lee, let's hear your spoiler filled thoughts. Oh, yeah. I was nostalgic for this, I think, but I also forgot a lot of it. I think it's good. I think it's fun, but it's also bad and, and it's fun. I, I think it's fun. I like some of the ideas it presents itself with that's here. I like that the you know, Van Helsing uh, is, is the original Van Helsing. It's not like some like, Dude. oh, that's my, my, my great, great, great nephew or some stupid shit. If Dracula could not die, then nor would I. I would be his keeper for as long as it took to uncover his secret. Exactly. Him using the blood from leeches and shit and so, injecting himself, that's, that's oh, I think I, kiss. I, I think I, you know, as a kid, I was like, he's getting high off vampire blood. <laughs> this guy's crazy. <laughs> When when later in you know in this movie like they slowly confirm it but then he, he finally says uh -huh. I used his blood filtered through through leeches to go through the thing and I'm like oh, okay okay good 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 used his blood filtered through leeches to stay alive but yeah. as a, but as a kid I think or as, as a younger man I think that I uh, was like misled for so much of the movie that that's the memory that stuck okay and I was like this dude's just you know because that happens in 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 some fiction where they're yeah. like using a, a weird thing and he's got all the injection sites mm -hmm. and he's like oh yeah you like loving it and I'm like yeah dude high five I, I liked a lot of a lot of little things to walk away from this I think on the whole like they're it could be better, but I think there's yeah. so many little things that you walk away with going like, that's like how they trap Dracula with the mirrors and the trap Ooh. and the fake walls and stabbings and whatnot. That scene is brilliant. It's I fantastic. love that so much. Did I miss something though? Or later can a vampire just see through a mirror? You can't see me. Uh, of course I can. When, so, so, so Dracula should have seen the bars through the mirror and it was, and it's dumb? Well, <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, that's not a mirror though. That's one way glass. 
it it's a mirror to you on the no, one side. No, but the difference is in 1879, the mirror might have actually been backed with black and actual silver. silver. There you go. And I think that's the, a, a big difference there. I knew I knew you would get out of this. But but yes, but if if, if he saw through a plated mirror, I'd be like, oh, he can has X-ray vision. But the, that's that is a difference. Uh, and it could just be that she senses him, uh, the, the blood or whatever. And, and that could hurt everything across <laughs> the board in sensing him. Yes, no, this movie is like funny with a lot of its action or a lot of its like horror elements. Yeah. It's not really designed to make you go like, oh yeah, this is how it works, right? Yeah, yeah. no, nothing is really scary. There's no jump sequences. There's nothing yeah. terrifying about this movie. It, it, is, it is mostly a comedy. Yeah, I think the problem that it suffers from is our main girl, like, you know, Van Helsing's daughter. Yeah. She's kind of weak. And there's something wrong with me, Lucy. There's something so wrong. <laughs> like, in this, they don't give her a lot to work with. Yeah. So, like, you just come across as, like, okay, uh, your parts are kind of slow. I, I think her vitamin C, her, like, roommate is more fun than she is in this movie. You had him every night in your dreams and you never even share. <laughs> it is better than chocolate. <sighs> yeah, she is. She's kind of, it's kind of weird, because by the end, the movie expects you to have, like, gotten behind her so much and to be yeah, on this journey really with her. Yeah, really don't care. It her journey doesn't yeah. feel like it's a, a payoff to anything. I'm like, yeah. okay, whatever. And, and like the antique dealer guy, I'm, I'm like, I guess I like him. I like Hacker, so I guess I'm in his corner. Like, <laughs> My friend at Heathrow Customs still owes me a favor or two. You weren't hard to track. Because you look awful. I... Like, I was like, oh, good, it's him, because I did that a hundred times watching uh -huh. this movie. And then, yeah, I was just like, uh, it, it's it's so strange, because the movie's not short. The movie's, no. The movie's a full movie, and a lot of stuff happens, and I, and, and I like a lot of it, but yeah, like, when it gets to the end, it feels like the end of, like, a different movie. It feels, like, weird, uh, yeah. it's, like, shoved in there. It's, it's, it's got, I think that it's a product of, you know, uh, of its time. For sure. Um, and, and I actually looked up CD sales... <laughs> Uh -huh. Because this time was when CD sales were just cresting and starting to go down or whatever. Okay. Or like, you know, we're at their peak. And this is the epitome to me looking back of like, we, you know, we want to sell this soundtrack to you kids. So like, like, like Dracula takes a break to watch a music video and goes yeah, like, yeah. finally, something I like about the world or whatever the fuck he says. And I'm like, holy shit. And, and yeah, like vitamin C being in it. Yes. You can see her album up, like in yes, the store where she works they work at, at a Virgin. Store. Yeah. It's amazingly like of all the things like, 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 like fuck phone booths, this element of it where it's like all the songs like play in there. You hear System of a Down, you hear mm -hmm. Linkin Park, you hear these things. It's, it, and it's that exact like edgy butt rock, like what the fuck of like the time. Yeah. It's so good. Like, like, like that I found so fun and funny of it. But yes, I think as a movie, it's this weird, like we you know, buy the soundtrack in stores now. Uh -huh. Like, you know this person, you know this person, you know this person, right? Boom, here's your movie. Like that's Yeah, sort it's, of it's crazy how many people it's, you know, you're like, like, oh, that's Omar Epps. Okay, cool. Like, yeah. The Holy Grail, the Golden Fleece, the Crown Fucking Jewels, whatever it is, it's inside. Um, the, the girl, I, I couldn't. Place. Jennifer Esposito. Yeah, I don't know where I know her from. Stacy Paterno from uh, from what the fuck is it with the uh, the Spin City? Having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> what? Right. Yeah, yes. but I, but this was 2000. When did that show start? I don't know. That, that's just where I know the actress from. She's also. I feel like though when, yeah. when I when I first saw her, I was like, oh, I dad. like you. I know you. And I went back through her catalog, and I was like, I don't know where I know you she's from. In, she's in a ton of TV shows. I, so all of them didn't like, trigger anything with me. So I'm like, yes, I, maybe I casually observed. I think these you would have seen her on the cover of TV Guide or something. Yeah, mo like most uh, most there. recently in The Boys uh, as like, the head of cool. the CIA or FBI. Yeah, one of those fucking franchises. I know. I was like, exactly. No, she's been around for like a lot of stuff, and I was happy. To see her in this and uh, that's sort of like a window too into like part of this movie is like we got three different types of sexy ladies to become yeah. sexy lady vampires for you we got it's seven a, of nine <laughs> it's very fan servicey yeah exactly Jerry Ryan who I don't know was she seven of nine at, you know at this time because I feel like I was like oh shit it's Jerry Ryan I but, think so uh, if but I, I'm my Star Trek knowledge is not the but best she's, uh, you know, in my she, head it's always been on and she's always been seven of nine she I has such like a that was small a show. kind of role in this but yeah it, it, it it's totally Babelicious fan service for all those characters mm -hmm. it's very fun and light and the whole deal right it's uh what are you gonna do let's do one more for the 10 p.m promo okay you getting the crash you getting the sunset you getting the tits yeah well it's the talent that matters val and don't you forget it so i mentioned lachlan monroe i, li I like him a lot he's in a lot of b movies and in stuff such he's a, a fun guy really small role real quick he might be 
um, out of all the IMDb superstars, uh, he has like 250 credits. He, oh, yeah. He's like competitive top 10, if not like top five, of all the people that uh, that we ever dig into, I think. Mm-hmm. He's been in so many roles. It's actually oh, crazy. Yeah. And I'm like, it's Baby Dick Guy. I'm still like, I, th- that's what I think of whenever I see his face. This isn't funny, all right? A small dick's like a disability, man. Huh? Would you make fun of a guy in a wheelchair, huh? Would you? So it's hilarious how many serious things, TV shows, movies, how many things he's been in. Like, everyone in this movie is like, you're like, oh, I know you from this, I know you from yeah. that. Uh, Sean Patrick Thomas, you got um, uh, Sean, uh, Sean West, uh, who's, we cover the Buffy the Vampire Slayer. He, he, he is in the episode Go Fish. Uh, he is in the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Black he's Lagoon in, one. Yeah, yeah. He's, that, that right. dude's like, uh, like a little role in, in a lot of things. It's just, just a camera guy in this, but it's yeah. still like all the roles were filled with somebody where you're like, oh, I know that person. I know that person. Yes. In like a weird, like that's the smallest role. You don't need yeah. an actor in that movie. And it's like, well, they, well, they just got lucky, but this can't be luck. It happens to so many people in the movie, right? Yeah. It's amazing. Very strange. Like even just like getting vitamin C in this, I'm like, I'm like, that's weird. Like I, I don't know her to be the actress. And I don't think She's that not even, an actress. it even yes. really clicked with me then. <laughs> yes. Because um, not till like 2005 did she really jump off, I feel like, with that graduation song type of thing. Yeah. And this was, I mean, did she keep being an actress? Do you know? I don't even know. I don't know. I feel like this is one of those weird, like, she tried to be an actress. Like, she tried. Like, yes. Went tits out on the first roll. <laughs> exactly. Very, very what daring. The hell? I was like, is that a body double? I don't think so. Unless they know. put a lot of work into it. Yeah. You see her face. You yeah. see her tits and vitamin C is tits. I, I like the the vampire women in like the end, like crawling on the walls. There's some great yes. trick photography where there's like 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 hair sprayed a, a certain way to make them look <laughs> like they're doing this and that, and they're just crawling across the floor, but it looks like they're yes. on the walls. I like that stuff. This is the and uh, I I won't say it throughout, but Jennifer Esposito puts in a lot of work here. Yeah, she uh, leans into all this stuff really hard and sells all these roles, and it makes it so much more stark. Where vitamin C is like not so like when yeah. it cuts back and forth between them, I'm kind of like. Okay, yes, this is this is the singer you got to be in your movie. You cannot like the rest of us. This little prank. Right, it's that sort of deal. I, I like like that they displayed some things that like you see in other stuff like not showing up on camera uh, all that business is fun when you see like 7 of 9 like getting killed it's like what the hell? Oh! oh it's a great it's, it's a great intro to that concept too and it's a great mm-hmm. scene. Um and like the reverse where someone grabs a cross and he's like you know, propaganda, or does he say superstition? He says something like, nah, propaganda. Bitch. And then earlier yeah. we have, I'm an atheist. I got something for you. <laughs> Sorry, sport. I'm an atheist. <laughs> God loves you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All those, all, all those things to like teach us what is, uh, what, you know, like, like, but what it are is the rules strange here? because riddled over his coffin are, are, are crosses, like his yeah. mask is across, he's holding a Bible. A cross in the there, Bible yeah. pages burn him. That, so I'm like, <laughs> by that what point, what does that mean? By that point, I was like, okay, I can't take this movie seriously at all. He opens a book and the pages fly out and they catch him. Oh, no, I think fire. he ripped the spine and they just like launched. Still, he fucking. Oh, it was magic. The book. He is an antique dealer. It's he like, knows what he's doing. It's like magic. He does a magic book attack on Pretty him. Pretty much. He uses book and it's super effective. Which is like, what the fuck's going yeah. on? Yeah, no, but I still like, uh, like this is one of those things I think like I was nostalgic for it because these things work better in my memory. Yes, like yes. that, like coffin covered in leeches, and yeah, with like the the man in the iron mask and like the cross, and he's all done up. Where you're mm-hmm. like, and like, and like your brain's like, oh shit, yeah, he's he's like putting leeches on. He goes down there every now and then to like grab a leech and like like add new leeches because he's using the blood. That he's getting the blood from. The, oh my god, how much blood could he have in him though? Period. Magic, like he has to be feeding him at some point. Magic blood. I guess. I guess it's. I don't know I, I think the most unrealistic thing is is just uh our dude's safe. And like his whole setup, honestly. He's in England. He's got like armed security guards. Like that's not a thing. He's got a cave. Like it's like the bat cave with like a, 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 like a safe on it. And like the traps that he has, I'm like, what, what, do, shouldn't traps happen before you've already like got and done everything? <laughs> no, those traps are for Dracula in case he gets out. I guess. That was my, t- I, 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 I had the same thought where I'm like, why is it doing this? Well, now? yeah, the yeah. one that kills Lock Monroe is, is, is for sure, yeah. It would, it would be like when Straight the door down. opens or when your yeah. weight lifted, it would spear you to the, to the floor. Yeah. I, and I, I do appreciate that. It's it's the other one that, that like just cracks the dude with the with the chain. Well, that goes in yeah. too, right? As if it's supposed to keep Dracula from getting out for enough time for him to get down to the basement with his stupid gun that shoots the, the, the that shoots weird pencils, sh- shoots metal chopsticks. Uh, it shoots <laughs> yes. silver stakes. Silver bolts, yes. Yeah. 
I, I like his whole gun thing. I don't know what yeah. is actually firing them because they're not like, there's no blasting caps on those things. It, and it has a big circle. So I'm like, is something spinning? I don't like, know. What, what does that? I like that. I like that in the hilt, there's a knife. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. like how quickly our hacker's boy just rolls with everything. He's exactly. like, ah, undead? Ah, mm -hmm. He's cutting heads off. He's doing his fucking business. His fight with Omar Epps is amazing. Omar Epps having the time of his fucking life in this role, <laughs> enjoying, I think, this so much. Yeah. Amazing. Top of the line, right? <laughs> I, I, I was really impressed. And yeah, cuts his head off, does the whole thing, and they have a whole back and forth. We get the whole, like, he's right behind me, isn't he? That whole stupid thing. He I was kicks like, oh. a dumpster at one point, Dead. and it hits him. Yeah. It flies in the air like a hacky sack oh, and yeah. just takes our boy out. And I'm like, this the, the, the display of power right there. No, Simon a Hackers, dumpster is yeah. hundreds of pounds, yeah. and he kicks it, and it launches like a soccer ball. Simon Hackers is dead at that moment. The rest of the, of the movie takes place in the brief, yeah. like, his brain is firing all of its synapses, all synapses and he's like, he's, like, filling in all the gaps himself. <laughs> and of course, he's the hero. That's yeah. what you do. Yeah. I didn't care for the death of Van Helsing. I, I thought mm. that was like, you know, having it happen off screen and, and, and potentially the girls did it. Sorry about you, old man. I was sucked and dry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like eh, yeah, that was a little, little less than desirable. I would have liked some like an epic fight yeah. that he like slowly loses or like it looks like he's gonna win but then he can't like he's planned a few moves ahead yeah. and it's like oh shit you, you you mess with the best the man who originally got you and all that stuff and he does seem to getting be old him, man pretty You're unprepared to save his daughter he just has like yeah. the one shot pistol and I'm like that yeah. seems like you don't have enough jazz there like there should have been like a couple of tricks Yes. Like, like Omar Epps had and more tricks. He, like, threw a ball and knocked the guy oh out. And I'm God. like, where's your shit like that? Shouldn't you have, like, ground up silver filings and a grenade yeah. or something? That's a perfect example of, like, the unnecessarily cool things that used to be in movies yeah. when, when they just let anybody make a movie. Because, yeah, he just goes, Whoa! And, uh -huh. and, like, does it slow-mo? Or, 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 like, does, like, a weird camera It's a weird there? toss in general because yeah. it's not a baseball throw. It's, it's like, like a, a ninja pocket throw. Like Yes! Ah! It's and, so weird. and then like he has the peel off your shit to like take your uh, your uh, your fingerprints. The, the Elmer's glue hand to do the uh, a, a little shitty recording device to play his voice. voice recognition. That's your I'm passing. Voice recognition. And yeah. then like a fake eyeball that like I'm like okay that and, like and it goes like one up into the contact. It's like an actual <laughs> fake eye. And he goes like. <laughs> And then puts it up to the thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that's so slick and, and cool. And that's really, the movie's just trying to be cool with it. It's not trying to be like, it's not trying to make sense or be accurate. It's not trying to like be dramatic or no. like tug on your strings. But even, even just, that is their yeah. escape plan is they blow a hole in the wall and leave. All right. Make a right. Take another right to the river. And then we're out. To the river, yes. I don't understand. They, they, like, you know, yes, if, you, no, if you would have entered no that truck. way, it would have caused yes. problems, I suppose. But it's it's very weird that, like, it has such thin walls for something that's, like, in a cavern. On the other side, like, yes. That's why yes. people make all four walls out of steel. No, there's, there's so much like that where, like, they just shout a line and then they're on the plane. And it's like... Yeah. There's no like like running through, getting to like the river where the boat's waiting. There's no whatever, whatever. No, they right? carried that coffin all the, the way, way to, to, right? to the you know the airport where their dude yeah. drives him. That's a and guy like, from uh, and like those what is things. He even? Hypercube or Cube Two? I forget what like, that pilot? guy. That guy's from something. Marcus! Everybody, somebody. Um, Almost no, literally, like, yeah. But those things don't matter, and, and, and you don't have to show them. But then, when the same movie, like in that scene you were talking about, where uh, Van Helsing's dead, it takes so long, and like it, it's it's it, 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 it's okay tension, but but no. the, but like the do, 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 and her like slowly moving, slowly moving. I was like, this is how we could get down to ninety minutes, people. Every right scene here. with his daughter is slow like that. Yeah, like every scene, unfortunately. <sighs> Well, yes, I don't need everything explained to me at all, like, period. Mm -hmm. I do need something in the realm of, like, these are, like, trained burglars. They all have skill sets. They have devices. They have things. They have intel on this guy that, like, 
is very in depth like to be able to do what it's they're like doing. It's like heavily prepared. Yes, and, and just the way they're doing it. It's not like it's just Elmer's glue on his hand. Like these are these are like you know spy level like mechanics that are that are at play here, uh, and they have a private jet, so they they have money. They are an organized industry. You'd think they would know what they were targeting before they would just randomly go into this thing and it ends up being like Richie Rich's parents' safe, where there's just oh it's mementos and things from our <laughs> childhood. I think that there's something to, like, every other safe like that is full of good stuff. But it's really weird that, like, she, I guess she only works there to pave the way for the heist, right? Seemingly. Can that be possible? Well, it's crazy, And, and right? it, would, it would assume that, it's such that a big her deal. boyfriend also yeah. worked there at one point. Because there's a thing like, like, uh, like well, where did oh, that rule come from? It's that. a new rule. I don't date men that I work with. Where was that rule a month ago? It's new. So oh. like they, it seems like they should all know what he has. Yeah, so he's and the, he seems to deal with like antique well, weapons. He's not like a gold collector. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say like Simon doesn't know really what he has, but yes. yeah, no, yeah, because like if that's if that's the guy who used to work there, that's even worse because that means he was working there the whole time while being this super professional. Yeah, that's heist what I'm man. saying. It doesn't or make sense. or he just like gathered that crew after he got fired to then come back. Like but they don't. But there's seem, no vendetta there either, right? It's, it's a weird, weird combination of, of where they seem very amateurish yeah. and like well well obviously they're international jewel thieves like it, it, it's it's unclear where the boundary lies because yeah. they explained nothing to us about it what are you looking at help me help yourself come on let's go gentlemen we are not leaving without the prize there's there's no caring there's no loss when people die it just go right around the thing and like yeah. that that's that cold calculated way that like yes they would be these, these are collected for a job they're the not professional friends. Uh, yeah, yeah yeah but like I, I don't know. But there's I, lines I really in, it leaves questions. But there's lines in there like there was money upstairs. Ugh. Like like you people are are like the, right as if it's yeah, like yeah. an ongoing relationship. But yes, no no no. It's 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 very inconsistent in those ways. For sure. Something I liked. I loved him being Judas. I think yes. that's great. I think it's a great explanation as the silver. Oh my uh, I god. I think all that works really well. I like vaguely remember that silver bit. I think other stuff does that less directly. Is that true? Where they say like the silver represents something or whatever. <laughs> Or, sure. or, or, like, was this the silver thing? Well, I, I know... I thought that my whole silver life. Silver is usually like, oh, it's so pure, and they are the opposite of yeah, purity, that's and like blah, the, blah, some stupid bullshit. That's this, like this the is a nice little, yeah, yeah, little yeah. bullshit explanation. But this is the awesome, like, this, this again, is the battle between heaven and, and hell, which is one of the things I fucking yeah. love in, in in And it's in nice to not be, like, a Cain and Abel um, thing. It's like, no, it's Judas. <laughs> no, it's super awesome, because he's not just, uh, again, like, I, I thought there was something else where, like, all the different symbols and things were from, like, the, you know, the Catholic Church, but for, like some other reason no, like Vlad the Impaler and then something mm. something but then like he was uh, possessed by the evil spirits and they were the same as the devil and the thing and the god and the blah 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 and that's why crosses and silver and sun and all that stuff but this is directly he's literally Judas he, yeah. he's the same Judas he goes he hangs himself just like it's in the bible you know like like, like, like apparently and then the rope breaks his eyes open he's like oh shit I, I, yeah. I, I have been forsook <laughs> and then he wanders the earth for the long time <laughs> I don't know yes. if I like or hate that everyone that like is becomes a vampire because that that's definitely yeah. cool. Um, but it, it feels like it would it would spread so fast that like yeah. even even like after a week it would be impossible to contain this. That's why it's good that our heroes uh, save the day. Well, Van Helsing, uh, you know, was said to have killed everyone except for him because he didn't know about this hanging business, and and that makes sense. I would have liked there to be some different link other than that he had his blood in him uh, from from uh, the leeches and had a kid, and that yeah. was the link. Because there's a part where they hang on during the capture where the spear goes through him and into him, and then it would have had to get pulled back through him, and I would have been like, our bloods are entertained. As long as you live, so shall I. Like something like that. So like until Van Helsing dies you his, you yeah, know, his yeah. last beat of his heart happens Dracula can't be killed something like would have been cool that's a dope part though when like he gets his blood in him to like start and and, and that's his like first fix or something yeah. and then he like keeps doing it or something I'm like ah oh, that's an interesting thing in there it might but be the I best agree, part yeah. uh, like like the best concept of, from the movie of, of like the lore yeah, 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 yeah. I exactly. like that a lot the mirror stuff is pretty genius, though. Like yeah. you're like, ah, oh, you don't show up in a mirror. Got you in this cage. So we can get you with that same something that 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 was always like a strength or like whatever. Yeah. is now being turned against him by the cleverness. Man is wily and and clever and can defeat the evil so, you know, forces. I like and that. And then and and then not showing up on a camera is even cooler because I don't yeah. know how many things did that stuff. 
Well, at stop. the time, yeah. when, once we go mirrorless, then we can catch our... <laughs> exactly. Now we need direct CMOS sensors. I, I actually wonder, like... I know! And it's, it's you know, it's, it's all fake, so I'll never know. <laughs> but but I, I, I wonder exactly. if, like, uh, can they appear in anything? And, like, yeah. would that work? I like I like weird shit no, like and that. Like, it works and, out nicely. And like that's good to me because like when like like okay like like silver is like oh the molecular it's like blade it's like I have a microscope and I'm like oh your blood cells are hungry it's like some fucking thing yeah, and yeah. like this was awesome to come out right in that same pocket where it's like it's magic he's Judas the Judas and this is why everything is like that what the fuck and it's like totally like because like not showing up on camera is like wait why how the fuck would that happen it's 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 awesome it's awesome. <laughs> And more stuff like that is like he turns into a wolf and then shatters into bats. Like, like yes. this is not weird. Like he's infected with the with the with the with the, no, with he's the straight virus. Magic. This is this is a magic biblical real you know thing. Ooh, speaking so. of biblical, Nathan Fillion is a priest. Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, right, dude. Forgot about that. Sing or whatever it is has chosen you, then you've got to fight it. You understand me, Mary? You've got to fight back. And like I, I, I almost didn't clock him. There's one scene where I was like, "Wait a minute," because he's he's, youthful. he's being different in this. Yeah, this like, is like two guys a girl in a pizza place time period. I think at a certain point Nathan Fillion was just like, "I know what you want me to do," and just started acting the same way or something. Because I've seen him in 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 like Firefly. He stuff flies and... by the seat of his machismo nowadays. Yes, and, and that's what I want. So I'm fine no, with it. No, you know, like a Bruce Campbell, because uh, like like I've seen in Castle, and he's mm. just acting like Captain Whoever from Firefly to mm -hmm. me. But like, yes, this is like, oh my God, your hair is different. You're wearing glasses. He's different. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, but the thing I want to talk about visually here is I, I like there's a thing where like they're inside each other's heads. Yes. And, and there's parts where like she's looking through her doorway and seeing like things like that. He appears there and does this jazz. And there's some really great scenes like that. Exactly. Where, like the visuals are nice. Where like you built a part of a wall and like brought that there to like no, get this, this effect. Because they a... all appear to be practical. There's no I don't think there's any bullshit digital stuff yeah, happening yeah. here. This is on my must talk about list as well because mm -hmm. forget Raylo, forget the Star Wars. Those motherfuckers were talking about like we were trying to visually show that they're linked and then there's like parts of their environments slowly start to be integrated as they do no it's all in this movie from yeah. from a hundred years ago and it's great because she turns around sees through, through you know through like the doorway into the plane and he can see her and she knows it and yeah. just like the looks on their faces i was like this is amazing the only part that was bad about it was when uh like vitamin c walks <laughs> through his thing like just as she gets to like her mark i'm sure it was like he'll be right here she like li she's like hmm, and like oh. lifts her head a little bit <laughs> Like, bitch, what are you doing? You're walking no. over to your, your friend concerned, but have a moment to be like, <laughs> yeah, the only ex the only explanation is that his like seductive powers go through, go through time and through space. Time. And yeah, I was just it. gonna say through time and space, and somehow like, oh, I'm turned on all of a sudden. Oh, are you okay? And that weird like flow, yeah, yeah is super dumb. That th that also bothered me. That is an she element that they added, like when he walks have through just the walked, store, All the girls like, hey, oh, yes. yeah, hmm. exactly. That's actually like the thumbnail on IMDb of the trailer. I think is a girl is a girl going like, oh, like what the <laughs> hey, fuck? Yeah. Oh shit, when he's walking through. Yeah, yeah, he has a certain magnetism that no one can resist. Where did those clothes come from? What, is his clothes? Yeah. A store? Because he, I just, I would have liked to see, <laughs> I, I feel like the first time we see him, which is like the plane, uh, right. after the plane crash, he rises up from the sewer, or not sewer, the swamp, uh, and, he, and he's in a trench coat and like a turtleneck and like black pants, yeah. but I don't think he's in a coffin in that, he's in, not nope, even in nope. a shirt, I don't he, think. He was buried in all that, no, there's, there's a little Oh, pouch. it's folded up in a, in a space little, saver yeah. bag, just suction up there nicely. You, you just like push on part of the coffin and like a little drawer pops out and he's like, ah, oh, and puts on his <laughs> belt and everything. No, yeah, cause like uh, he he no he's all crispy. He's all like like desiccated vampire. He feeds on the first few people, and, and then you get one of many of these horrible CG dated scenes mm. where he walks out and goes, "Ooh, like like in the Mummy when the guy's yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm the Mummy now. I'm the actor. You know, I'm not I'm not a monster anymore." And it's super. And but yes, that should not apply to his clothes. Well, honestly, <laughs> if you can turn yourself into a wolf and a bat, you could probably magically pop an outfit out. So I'm okay, not gonna scrutinize sure. it too bad. But I just I would have liked to have seen like you know like a whoop, and like his clothes turn, like much like he turns youthful. What the hell are you? Oh. I think that nice could have been... like him straightening his like yeah, old style something. cuff. Yeah, okay, okay. Could have been nice. Oh my God. Selena. Selena. 
you know? There's one part that I like too, where, where uh, in the beginning, like the, the the little thing, like you know, you'd have like an old school door with the two like things like that, and there'd be a piece of wood. It's like a cross, and I'm like, that's oh, pretty God. cool. Oh God! When they like lift it up, yeah. That's the first point where some of the henchmen go like, what the fuck is happening here? Well, and there's like, all those great. vampire skulls yeah. across the floor. You're like, oh, so they don't turn to dust. That's cool, and they don't. Like none yeah. of them do anything like that. And it even even as a, a nice point where the cops are showing up, and our boys like uh, like he's like, kill him, kill her, kill yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, eh. like how are you gonna explain this? Eh. He just leaves, and I'm like, they just arrested a vampire. Go ahead, cut me. Won't you have a lot to explain? Yes. How the fuck did that work? Because she could have oh. easily killed them all, but she let herself get taken. To fuck with them, yeah. I guess, yeah. perfect. Mm. Yeah, yeah. No, but to your point, like, turning into dust was more on the blade side of it. Obviously, Buffy yeah. does that, too. Other things have done that. But that was, to me, because I, I, like, I, like, read the Anne Rice vampire hey, books, to the... like, like, as a kid, right? Mm. So, like, for me, I was like, oh, it's a movie, and we have to, like, oh, he turns into dust. Like, he just, <laughs> just becomes, like, like a light bulb with with no glass, just goes, and uh -huh. just, like, dies. I'm like, okay, that's, I guess that's easier, guys. You want to hit the easy way out. Well, I think it's actually much <laughs> yeah. harder, but I, I like it better. No, no, well, no. It's, like, it's like easy for the plot. It's like, okay, we don't have to explain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. why is Greg dead? Ah, trust me, he was like, his pointy, his vampire, man, come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so the end of this movie, we're on like, I don't know why, but it pictures like like a, like an old school Chinatown church because of like how that like that cross is that weird like stylistic drawing of Jesus. Yeah, this is like a Mardi Gras thing, but it's yeah, but it's it's got a weird vibe. There's like a glass like greenhousey thing, right? It's a whole it's a whole. We have a set for our set piece at the end. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and she has like this epiphany. She's now a vampire, our main girl that is, and uh, you know she she fake kills our hackers boy, like you know like just spits some blood on his neck. <laughs> She she slashes uh, uh, vitamin C. Vitamin C. Yeah, or cuts her vitamin head Because vitamin C right goes, off. bitch is faking it because she realizes that's just a bloody uh, you know lipstick mark yeah. on on Simon Hacker's neck. And uh, this ending kind of sucks, but it's kind of amazing. It's kind of dumb, but it's kind of yeah. great. Everything from like Jerry Ryan getting getting killed and being really confused about it. I was like, oh, that's really good. Because she's like, what? How is this? Uh, Oh god! Yeah. And dies. It's a daring and move. Then, but like, ah, I was like, okay, this, this has more depth than like it should. And then the ending is this: is this bat crap crazy? Um, like, like Dracula even says, "You want to teach me about betrayal? Like, I'm the original betrayer." You think you can teach me about betrayal? And yeah. go and and like and all of a sudden they're fighting and they have like a wire team and they're like spinning through the air. It's this. It's so gross. It's yeah, amazing. Yeah, I, I really. It fell off for me here. Yes. I would have much preferred an elaborate trap somehow that yeah. springs and they and they pin them back and because I don't know. Her picking up you know, what he's putting down on how he dies immediately like just seemed like a very convenience thing. And I get we're, oh we're connected. God. Whatever. Wait, 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 she does this. <laughs> <laughs> and like mentally reads what he wrote on the wall, which is yeah. like the key to the clue. That's earlier in like the library, but, like, but still, that? I was like, what is happening? Believe in me, for I am the way to, to eternity. Oh, it's Aramaic. I've seen this before. Wait, let me think you about You know Aramaic? No, <laughs> but he does. Because he's in my head now, I guess, right? This stupid thing. Yeah. It's very stupid. No, and, it's, um, it's a whole okay. foolish ending. So she falls off the, you know, the like ledge, but she's fine because she's a vampire. Sure. Um, he's been hung now and, and like dawn's coming and we're not sure if it's the hanging and like the metaphor or maybe just the sun and then in my head I'm like Van Helsing never tried the sun? <laughs> Couldn't the sun do no, it? No, it's I think I know. being hung yes, and the sun. We're getting there, yes. So, uh, you know, dawn's coming up you know, he you know he looks down and like realizes, oh no! And like I think this is like key too. Is he? I release you, and yeah. she stops being a vampire. Release you. Again, it's magic, which I really well, I enjoy. believe had he not released her and he died, she would die too. Or she's just still a vampire and like it's not over yet, right? I, Which is I bad. feel like this is like in this world, it's like if you kill the one that yeah. turns you, you, everyone would die. And, and like she's like like you know like dead. Yeah. So like without him and like and like the link to being a vampire or whatever. Yeah. So he like releases her, which I think might be part of his like redemption that 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 makes his death like an actual death. Perhaps uh -huh. we're not sure. Her eyes flash like empty blue weird eyes, yeah. and then flash back because you get like cool red orange eyes when you're a vampire yeah, in vampire this movie, eyes. right? So she flashes to some intermediate state, and then to her real eyes, and then she's like, 
oh, that was, I'm okay, fuck, I'm fine. And then he bursts into flames, it's over. The, the, the ending, 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 ending is this, like, we are setting up another Underworld spinoff or something? Yeah, yeah. Where she's like, it's me and Simon now, and I'm doing a voiceover, and I'm going to make sure that this never happens again. I am now the keeper of what remains. If the soul of Dracula still flickers in his ashes, I will keep it forever contained. And I and I'm the keeper of like you know whatever remained of Dracula. And then lightning strikes, and, and her eyes do you know do, do the thing. And I'm like, is she an anti-vampire now? Is she is she yeah. a reaper? What is this? So if if the second movie of this series was a continuation of that story, but also so bad that I've never heard of it or seen any clips of it, I would have been like so interested to watch it. I have <laughs> only seen the other vampire movies, uh, other Dracula movies. Yeah. When they first came out, rented them and watched and them like, at once. And my only memory of them is, I don't, is not involving her. Not to say she's not there. No, I don't think she's... I think I checked real quick and she's not in it. But I'm like, you can get some other actress to play her character. Sure. So. Well, I mean, yeah. I don't even remember a, a, her, like a her character. Girl. Is not even, no, yeah, I don't yeah, remember yeah. that at all. Sure. I remember just like that dude. I think he had like a whip or some shit. Like it was some... I remember it being cool oh, weapons. So Underworld. Yeah. No, the the idea of like other immortals that are related to vampires but are not vampires anymore, and uh -huh. and, and, and and are now like modern techno antique dealing slash holy warrior people. I get my orders from the Vatican and I curse and I kill vampires for a living. I was like, oh, it's gonna be so so shitty and so good. All right, that's everything that happens in this movie. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments below what you thought about it. Don't die in a fire, and we'll see you next time. If you want to support the show, head over to CannibalVideo.com, pick up some merch. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that's something. Whatever. Fuck these motherfuckers. Dignity. Doctor.